Hi, everybody. It's Blakely from the newsroom, and this is Amber McCauley. We've spoken with her many times about her many fundraising endeavors for children and youth services. Uh, usually, uh, she's behind the scenes with all of these things, but today you're front and center because you're doing what? I am cutting my hair into a, a mullet to raise money for Young Minds at the RVH Foundation. And how did you come up with this scheme? Uh, a friend of mine did a mullet last year for the Canadian Mental Health Association and it inspired me to stretch my comfort zone a little bit and because my heart is with uh, child and youth mental health, I figured, hey, now is the time. Have you ever had a mullet? I have never ever had a mullet or a shaved head or anything. I've had a lot of weird colors, but this is my very first weird cut. You know what a mullet is, right? Business in the front, party in the back. That's what I've been told. All right. Well, let's get you seated and uh, we'll have a little chat when everything is done. All right. Looking forward to it. Okay, so this is Martina, the owner of... Charisma Hair Studio. Which is on Burton Avenue in Barrie. And you're going to be performing this uh, sculpture today. I am. Today we are creating a mullet. So this lovely lady can continue to make mental health awareness. All right, how long is this going to take? <laughs> um, the haircut and style usually takes about 45 minutes. And then how long for it to grow back in? Hopefully not too long for this lovely young woman. <laughs> All right, we'll let you get to it. Okay, thank you. All right, so what do you think, March I, Mullet? I think it's perfectly imperfect. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. But this was a big part of the deal as far as uh, raising I funds. Was committed. Yep. You were committed to it. You yep. went through with it. How yep. nervous were you sitting there yep. getting it done? Pretty nervous. I didn't cut my hair for years in such a drastic way. But Martina did a good job. She did. She made it look, you know, good enough that it's bad enough that it'll raise a lot of awareness and money and attention and that's that's exactly and she's what going we're to doing. she's going to help you fix it at the end of all yes, this yes she is yes she is <laughs> all right so what is this for again so i'm cutting a mullet for young minds and raising money for the rbh foundation and their child needs mental health work and how do people get involved and help you out oh they can go onto the website um, moveitforyoungminds.ca and we're also on Facebook, Move It For Young Minds, and they can click, it's pretty clear as to where you would donate, and uh, just spread the word and awareness and get on board. I would love to not be the only one sporting a mullet this month. I know there are uh, lots of opportunities to raise money through a mullet in March for mental health. And now we know where to come to, to, to get a mullet, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just that good at mullets. That's right. And uh, <laughs> give, give us the location again. 199 Burton Avenue. All right. Thanks very much. No you, did, you did a great job. Thanks, everyone. We'll, we'll look forward to the repairs. <laughs> it's going to be